pace of innovation is really, really good right now, especially in the pluggable optics. And that's sort of the way we need to run our network in the future. We need to be much more cost effective and, and pluggables is a perfect way to be cost effective with your internet backbone. The traditional network will still be there, but the pluggables will really make our internet backbone much more effective. And here I can see developments both in terms of longer distances, the ultra long haul stuff on 400 gig, and also you're going to 800 gig uh, short haul, but hopefully over time longer distances as well. So I think all of this is very important for us in Aurelion to keep the pace with the market. When it comes to AI, I think really, you know, the only thing we live on is really customer experience. And I think AI can really help us with that type of experience. Anytime we can tell the customer before the customer calls us that they have a problem or we have a problem and we will solve it at this point in time, that's going to help us. And I can really see that AI can help us correlate a lot of data that we already have, but in a, we, we can correlate that data in a much better way. And AI will help us sort of drive that innovation further and we can provide customers with more accurate information at a must, must faster pace really. We understand it over time it will be a lot more traffic. Uh, in the United States we don't have an ample amount of fiber so here we need to build our new routes where the data centers are going to be built and we can provide them with capacity services, high-speed capacity services between any places in the US. While in Europe we have a lot of fibers already in the, in the ground and there we can really support the hyperscalers with Either you know, we build a network for them on top of our fibers or we just sell them the fibers itself. So I think AI for us in terms of traffic growth is going to be really, really important. Uh, maybe not during 2025, but for sure the next coming years. Finally, as a conclusion to this, I can give you some information that we're adding a number of new routes in US, particularly in the southern part of US from the Florida to the Texas region. Uh, we're constantly adding new routes to our network and we're always trying to find new fiber pairs where we can build new capacity routes. So I'm happy to announce that we have a number of new routes coming into the network right now where we can deliver capacity almost today.